Hi guys. It's a, a very dull and wet Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday the uh, 7th of October. I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like when you're an adult, it's a lot easier to lose track of the date and the day of the week it is. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully it's not just me. Um, anyway. Um, well, as you can notice, first off, the um, old Frenchy, as I call it, isn't up here anymore. He's currently downstairs outside because I've taken him for a test ride to the shop. So um, I want to grab a couple of those little drawers there. Which I got cheaper than I thought. I swear they said um, 149 on the shelf. Um, which would have brought the total to about 298, 297, something like that. But um, it came to 198. Which means I got charged 99p for each one. So, I don't know. Maybe there's an error on their cash register or an error on the shelf. Or maybe I just read the label wrong. I don't know. Um, but yeah, all I had to do was tweak the gears just a little bit. Literally by about one, a turn, maybe a turn and a half, something like that, on the adjuster. So, um, the gears work fine. Oh, and the other thing I did, because the handlebars were tilted forwards, I didn't like that riding position. So when I got back from the shop, I um, um, adjusted the hand... Oh, pardon me. Adjusted the handlebars, so they uh, were um, tilted further back towards me. Uh... The um, guy came and collected his bike that I gave him. Um, he did give me three pound fifty, um, just as a thank you, because uh, as I said, he had his bike stolen not last night, the night before, out of his front garden, and it was one he'd built up himself from the ground up. And I know how that feels when you put, you know, he said it was nothing special. But it's just the fact he'd put all that time and effort into it to get it how he likes, and someone went and nicked the fucking thing. So, yeah, it was more um, sentimental, as he said. But uh, I don't know what he's going to do with the one I'd give him. Um, I've got it into a rideable state, like he said. He didn't want too fast about the gears as long as it rode. Because um, from what I can gather, he does bikes as well. So whether he'll fix this one up and use that as a rider until he can, you know, do himself another one, or if he'll use that one for parts, I don't know. It's up to him. He can do what he likes with it now. I'm not first. <coughs> That's my good deed for the day. Um, apart from that, I haven't really done much. Um, Apart from just done some work on the Lego model up the corner, that's about it. No one been to the shop, that's it. Um, but I've been noticing in the news. I've lost the article now. I'm scrolling down because I might find it again. That um, Russia has been um, or has launched cruise missiles on ISIS from warships 900 miles away. Now, I've said for a long while that we should have attacked like this ages ago. Whether people liked it or not, I do, I've always felt something had to be done about ISIS. Um, I mean, look at Hitler in the Second World War. We put a stop to him and his antics, wanting the perfect race. We um, executed Saddam Hussein because of his crimes against humanity. And of course, we executed um, Osama bin Laden for his attacks on 9-11. Um, so I don't see why we 
we, as in Britain and the US, are sitting here twiddling our thumbs, apart from the odd airstrike we have sent over ISIS, basically doing absolutely fuck all to combat this ISIS problem. That's just my view. Um, but yeah, it seems like old Mr. Putin doesn't take uh, much crap, does he? And he doesn't fuck around either, it seems. Um, seems like the sort of bloke I wouldn't want to piss off, to be honest. Yeah, it seems to have... Oh, there it is, I found it. Oh, here we go again. Hello. No. Theoretically, my PayPal money should go into my bank this evening. I was um, going to treat myself to a USA fried chicken meal or something. Because uh, they don't close until like 11 o'clock at night. Um... Yeah, as long as I keep at least a tenner out of it to um, pay for those parcels. I think it's about ten pounds I need. Need to work out how many I sold. It might be um, a little more than that, actually. I think I actually sold four items tonight. Let's have a look quickly. One, two, three. Oh no, it is three. That's alright, because I've already posted one. And that person that bought the um, six volt moped indicator light off me didn't ever pay. Um, but I've got the um, got it set so eBay opens up the case automatically for me and closes it. So I got the final value fee because they never responded to the case either. So I actually find that quite odd because I've got relatively decent feedback. So I don't know what happened there, but obviously that would go against them as an unpaid item strike. I can't remember how long those strikes last for now. Oh, speaking of eBay, I still can't get the black ink cartridge to work. Stupid thing is, it did when I first put it in there, and it was the colour one. That or I then put the colour. Eh, I'll try again. The black ink I inserted first, that came up fine. Um, then I put the coloured one in. Then it started throwing up incorrect ink cartridge left and right. Um, so I took the black one out and I gave them both a clean, as per the video the eBay seller sent me. I've followed all those instructions. Now the coloured one um, seems to be working even though the printer says it's empty. I know it's not empty. I know for a fact it's not empty. Um, but the black one is now throwing up the um, incorrect or cartridge error. That's what it's throwing up now. Um, but uh, if I put the original Lexmark black ink cartridge back in, so I bought some um, remanufactured ink cartridges. Um, but when I put the original one back in, it works fine. Apart from telling me that both ink cartridges are low. So the seller is going to send me out another one. Because hopefully it is just a dodgy ink cartridge chip. Because they have those little chips on them now, don't they? It might be a dodgy one, you know, that the printer's not recognising or whatever. Or a faulty connection um, on the cartridge itself, not the um, printer. Because, like I said, I put the original one back in there and it picks it up fine. Um, failing that, and I hope not, but failing that, I can still get a refund on the black ink cartridge only. So that's if this one the replacement doesn't work. I hope it does, because I'd like to get the printer working. may have to reinstall it on the um, computer, because um, the wireless isn't picking it up, for some reason. It's doing an Epson on me. 
that's what mums does all the friggin' time. And the only way I've found to actually cure the problem is to reinstall the printer. Because otherwise the laptop throws a right hissy fit and will not recognise um, or pick up on the printer. And it will just have things in a printing queue. And it just does it at random. It used to do it when the electric went out at mum's. Um, but now it just seems to do it at random. Which is annoying. Which is why I said mine's doing an Epson on me. It's actually a Lexmark. <laughs> um, I've never been fond of Epson, if I'm honest. I've had a few in the past and I've never been, you know, totally thrilled with them. But... Mm. I do like this next mark. I've got another one at Mum's. But this one's an all in one. This is printer, scanner, etc., etc. Uh, yeah. I don't think I really should uh, feed the cat because I'm thinking that's what he wants. Either that or he's just wanting some attention because I've never had a cat that is such an attention whore as this one. Most cats I've come across, you know, you give them a little fuss like that, then they bugger off. Or they don't even want to know. Or they go for your hands, you know. This one, ooh, even a complete stranger could walk in through that door and he'll do this when they sit down. He will sit on their lap. He will allow them to pick him up and cuddle him. He's such a attention whore. He loves it. Ow. Not there he doesn't, because he just bit my hand. But he's, sometimes he can be an arsehole and he'll just bite randomly. Only me, though. I wasn't doing anything apart from stroking his front. He bit me hand. But we have a mutual thing going, you see. I wind him up and he winds me up. <laughs> What's it doing outside? Is it still raining? It was raining. Throwing him out. Oh, I'll get up. Oh, shit. Oh. The windows are soaking wet. Um. Yep, it's still piddling down. Oh, well. A bit of water never hurt anyone. Well. I suppose that's debatable, depending on how much water it is. <laughs> oh, fuck. Tripping over the up my own chair. Oh dear. Well, I think the only plans I've got, other than getting something to eat in an hour or so, is to um, do some more work on the Lego. I've got a choice. I can demolish that and start rebuilding it. Sort that drawer out. Or do a bit more work on here. I don't know. Choices. I've got lots to do. Um, oh yeah, and I've got some motherboards on the landing in a couple of tubs that I need to go through. They're all ones that I bought in a massive job lot at a car boot sale. Oh, back in summer, and most of them... No, actually all of it was pretty much junk. So, I can't say I was impressed, to be honest. Um, got my cousin's laptop here. It says it's got a gig and a half memory on it. Um... I've gone through and cleaned it up. I did a disc defrag on it, which didn't take long. Didn't really need it, but I thought, while I'm here and while I've got it, it'll be done and dusted, because um, it's on Windows XP. Gig and a half of RAM. I think it's a 1.6 gigahertz processor. Be a single core on that one. Um, it's not too bad, speed-wise, to be honest. Faster than that poxy thing, and faster than my RM. But... I do believe I can put a gigabyte of memory on that, which is what I plan to do when I remember. And if I can still find that sort of memory. I'll have to look through the specs again and just double check. 
I think that's got 700 and some megabytes on it now. I can't remember. Sod it. Let's turn it on and find out. Took these down to tighten the handlebars up on the um, bike I gave away and left them outside on the brick wall. I'm surprised no one ran off with them actually. Because I do actually like this laptop. Um, but the clock battery's knackered, so I'm going to have to see if I can, uh, one day when I'm feeling energetic, open it up and change the clock battery, if it's possible, on this one. It's not one of them that's soldered on, and if it's just a standard, like, lithium button cell. See, this one doesn't take very long to load up. I've just noticed I've got a very dusty screen. And we've got audio. Uh, are we done? See, hand drive light stop flashing. We're done. For some reason, it's going to the BT Wi Fi with FON network um, as default. I'm actually going to my router under there. No idea why. I'm not going online at the minute, so I'm not going to change it. Bollocks. Again. Oh, bugger off. See, it's not too bad. But I would up it to a gig if I can. Now it's got 512 megabytes of RAM. I swear I upgraded it. Because there's a slot under here. Oh, well, has it got two 256 megabyte sticks? I can't remember. Oh dear. <laughs> um, may end up turning that off later and just having a double check. So I know whether I've got to get two or one. Well, actually, I suppose if I could find a job lot, that would be... Oh, pardon me. I've got the burps for some reason. Let's just have a um, quick peek on eBay. That's uh, DDR. Laptop memory. That's going to come up with every other DDR as well. Oh. Oh. Well, that is actually quite a cheap price. Um. <laughs> it's got all sorts here, actually. What have we got? I'll just show you the picture, and it's, <laughs> it's got one hour and one minute left, and I could actually bid on this. But we've got all, this is 75 sticks in total. Um, and this is counting DDR2. Um, we've got 28 times 512 megabyte DDR2. 3 times 1 gigabyte DDR2, 7 times 2 gigabyte DDR2, 1 times unknown, Samsung, 1 times, sorry, 9 times 256 megabyte DDR2, 3 times 512 megabyte DDR, 15 256 megabyte DDR, I add that to watch list because there's a couple in there I'd want. Um, if I can get them cheap enough. Like I said, it ends in an hour. Uh, yeah, in an hour, in 13, 12, 11, 10 seconds. If I can get it, uh, postage is a bit expensive, £5, but there is a lot there. Oh, that's not. <laughs> it's in Norfolk, where I am, look. Kings Lynn, Norfolk. That's about an hour and a half, two hours drive away. No, about an hour and a half away, I think. Ooh. Well, it's certainly an interesting job lot. Um, I think it's going for so cheap at the moment because it's got so much 256 megabyte in there. Well, I'm actually interested in a couple of the 2 gigabyte ones because my advent 
despite having two one gig sticks in, is still only registering a gig and a half. And I want it to register two gigs. So if these are compatible, then I could stick a two gig stick in it. That's the plan, anyway. And like I said, there's some 512 DDRs in here. Three of them. Um, so I could easily upgrade the Compaq to a gigabyte. That'll make it a bit faster, because XP seems to run pretty smoothly on a gigabyte of RAM. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm certain this had more than that. But uh, to get to the expansion slots under here, you've got to take the keyboard out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm going to watch that. Because, um, like I said, hopefully my money goes into my bank account tonight, so... I've still got nearly £3 in PayPal, so... That should that be a job lot that would help me out, because I don't have much um, laptop memory. That would be a selection, at least. Uh, and get me out of a pickle, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to dust that screen down. Cause it's a bit, uh, my RM, I think, has also got the same amount of RAM, but can also be upgraded to a gig, so... I could um, upgrade both. Oh, and I still need a bloody keyboard for the Toshi up there. My Toshiba! Sometimes it tells you how many people are watching, but, um... Two bids, one power twenty. Someone's put the max bid in. Depends what the max bid is. Some more DDR computer memory, desktop memory. I am low on that. I could do the more for selection. A lot of 50 memory sticks, a gigabyte. PC DDR2. Yeah. Really need that, isn't it? Computer memory for sale, and any other strips killed. Yeah. Huge job lot. That's one hell of a job lot. 380. Um, 512 megabyte DDR2. Well, they're going to be on there for a while. No one's going to want them. Gigabyte, ooh. Gigabyte DDR, that was wherever it disappeared to. Mm, that does seem to be um, getting quite hard to get now, the DDR stuff. There's a couple there, 512 for one gig. Three ninety nine free postage. I'll tell you what, I'll put that in my watch list. Oh, and I can make an offer, so I could get it for three quid. Not yet, though. I'm going to add that to basket, um, not basket, watch list. Because that's what I want. I've got shitloads of 256s and shitloads of, oh, that's from Germany. Mm, Hong Kong, Lithuania. Let's do some narrowing down. We'll do UK only. And we'll do auction later. Goodbye, DDR2. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so everything in Britain apparently is um, by it now, because there's literally a handful auction style. <laughs> oh well. Oh crap, didn't want to do that, did I? I'm going to put 
not been in just yet. I am here. But, uh, Read the description. 75 notebook RAM sticks. These have not been tested in any way, so I don't know if they work or not. By looking at the memory labels, I can tell that there are. Okay. So that's a gamble. That's probably the other reason that they're going for such a low price. So I can't imagine that the um, maximum bid of this other bidder. is going to be a great deal. Because no one in their right mind would want to spend too much on something that is unknown. Whether, you know, unknown whether, whether or not it works. Oh, it's getting so dark. Have no light on, shall we? There we go. Have a light on. Who needs a main light in a room when you've got all these lights? Stick all my spotlights on as well, couldn't I? And don't need that stupid main light. Now, I'm pretty certain I don't have any 512 sticks of DDR left for laptops. So, um, let me power up the R and take the RM apart and see what memory is in that. 512 megabytes might explain why they're both a bit slow. Okay. Well, that's about it for this vlog. Not much, but I haven't really been up to much. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Give the video a good thumbs up if you like it, or a thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, subscribe if you haven't for more daily videos, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.